What's going on, man? I just want to thank all of you that went out and purchased the intro tie, causing it to sell out within 12 hours of me releasing that video. If you're new here and don't know what I'm talking about, last week I released my first tangible product, which is a tie called the intro tie. If you didn't see the video, I'll link it somewhere up here. I'll also include it in the description. But not to worry, we did put out a new order. So if you go on the website and you enter your email, you'll be notified once the new ties come in. But once again, man, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting the intro tie. Intro. You should come rolling my shit. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about a new shoe brand that every menswear enthusiast should be familiar with. Going back to last week's video where I covered what I would recommend if your budget was $1,500 for a full outfit, the shoe that I recommended was from Yearn Shoemaker. As I mentioned in last week's video, I haven't spoken about them before, but I do have a pair, and this is the video for said pair. Yearn Shoemaker really outdid themselves. To me, currently, your shoemaker is probably the best thing going. If they're not number one, they're definitely number two when we're talking about value. They have many different programs which we'll be covering today, but I really think that what they offer is very hard to beat. They are hand welted, hand lasted, and the soles are hand stitched. And all this for a retail price of $480. Typically, when you're talking about hand welted shoes, you usually around the $550 to $600 range to start. So this is a great accomplishment for a brand to be able to make a handmade shoe under $500. But it doesn't stop there. They do have a couple made to order programs as well, which we'll be covering today. So last week, the shoe that I mentioned that you should get was from their ready to wear line. The shoe that we're going to be covering today is part of the MTO program. I can't wait to really show it to you. It's really an excellent shoe and you're going to see what makes the MTO program so special. They actually have two different MTO programs. Once again, we'll be getting deeper into that as we go through the video. And just to give you a bit of a background about the brand, Yuan Shoemaker is a brand out of China. Founder, Phoenix Fu, learned about shoes while he was living in Northampton, UK. Northampton in the UK is a place that's renowned for shoemaking. So when you're talking about brands like Edward Green, for example, they originate from Northampton. So his dream was when he went back to China to start his own shoe company that could rival some of the shoes that he fell in love with while he lived in the UK, but using Chinese techniques and traditions. Eventually, he partnered up with a shoemaker by the name of Ji Zheng that has been in the shoemaking industry for over 25 years. And the third member is Tim Liu. He started off as a customer of the brand, but because of his eye for shoes, he eventually became part of the team. Actually, Tim is the one that I've been communicating with throughout. Now, just to be 100% transparent these shoes were sent to me for free so that i can introduce some to you guys and i can't wait to do that a couple house cleaning items so last week i mentioned that i'm going to start taking clients remotely because right now it's all in person but i've had a lot of guys reach out saying that they want to work with me but they live in let's say philadelphia but i've never wanted to really do it remotely but since so many people have asked i'm going to open it up there'll be an app or a website where you can schedule your own appointment. But for now, you can just email me. I'm going to include the email at the bottom of the screen. I said that last week, but I forgot to include the email in the video. But right now you can catch the email right here. And this is where you would reach out to me if you wanted to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Number two, I'm going to be starting a podcast. It's going to be a menswear podcast, obviously. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And also leave me a comment on the kind of topics you would like to hear me speak about. Maybe it's something that I haven't spoken about on here before, or maybe I have, but you want me to get more into it since I have more time in a podcast. So your shoemaker comes in a green box with gold lettering. And on the sticker, he said this is a Balmo with Oxford in the dark brown suede. The last is a Y05 and my name of course, and the size is a UK7. As you guys know, that's what I wear. Let's take a look at what's inside. I know that's what you guys are here for. So let's stop playing around, you know what I mean? <laughs> The first thing that you'll notice once you open the box is this brown herring one cloth with this leather patch that says Yearn Shoemaker. This is a really, really nice touch, man. I was just showing these shoes to somebody the other day. She doesn't know anything about men's shoes, but she was highly impressed with the presentation. And you can see why. So the shoes do come with a gold-plated shoehorn. It's a small travel one. And of course, the shoes come in two shoe bags made in that same brown having bone fabric.
And these are the shoes right here, man. So at the box states, this is a dark brown suede made in a Balmoral style. Balmoral is when the line goes all the way from the throat to the back of the shoe. And also the shoe has the gooseneck stitching, which I really like. These shoes are part of the MTO program. So they're ready to wear shoes retail at $480. For the MTO shoes, it's an upcharge of $50. So what you can do is go to their website and see the ready to wear styles that they have and you can pick a style from there. But not only can you pick a style from what they already have on the website, you can also go to their social media and see if you see anything that you like. When I was ordering my shoes, I didn't see a Balmoral on their ready to wear page, but I did see one on their Instagram, although it wasn't in suede. So when Tim reached out to me and asked me what style that I wanted, I told him I did want a Balmoral, but in a dark brown suede and this is exactly what we have. So we got a punch capto here on the Balmoral. And once again, this is a $50 upcharge from their ready to wear. So we're talking about $530 instead of $480. But there are a couple other upgrades that I also did on my shoes. The first one is the lasted shoe tree. So as I mentioned in last week's video, their lasted shoe trees cost $100, which is common for lasted shoe trees. My thing is, if you can get lasted shoe trees for your shoes, you should always opt for that as opposed to getting, let's say, a generic shoe tree because the lasted shoe tree is made on the same exact last and specification as the shoes. So instead of $530, that made the shoes $630 because I added the shoe trees. Another upgrade is the Triumph metal toe taps. The first part that usually goes on my shoes is the front of the sole. So because of that, whenever I have the option, I always opt to have metal toe taps taps included on the shoes. So the metal toe taps are $35. To me, that's a well worth investment because I wouldn't have to relax the shoes as quickly if I didn't have metal toe taps. And as far as the sole, this is their standard leather sole. So this is the same sole that you would get if you was getting one that's ready to wear. But there are a couple other options also if you were doing an MTO, which we'll get to later once I go over how that program works. These shoes are truly incredible. It's a beautiful dark brown suede. You guys know how I feel about suede. I actually prefer suede over red regular leather. It's just something about suede that I really, really love, man. Now, the last that I selected for my shoes is the Y05. Actually, to be honest with you, I didn't even really select the last. Sim selected the last for me. When I look at the five last that they offer, this is the one that I would have picked myself. So let's go over the different options if you were doing an MTO. They have the regular MTO, which is what this is. And they also have a premium MTO, which is currently on hold at the moment, but it'll be coming back. So we'll start with the regular MTO since this is what we have here. So first thing first, the upcharge for MTO is $50 compared to their ready to wear. And the lead time is 35 days. So to order MTO shoes, the first thing you do is you select the model and you can do that by going to their ready to wear offering to see if you see anything that you like there. And as I was saying before, you can also go through their social media. Personally, I found this style from their Instagram. The second step is to select the last that you like. Yearn Shoemaker has five different lasts to choose from. The first last is a Y02, which is an almond shape last. It's a really beautiful last. If I didn't pick this one, I would have probably picked the Y02. Although for a Balmoral, I do like more of a square shape. The next last is the Y07, which is their aggressive chiseled last. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of an aggressive chiseled last, but there's definitely a market for it. I know a lot of guys that love themselves a chiseled last. It's just me personally, I like more of a soft square. I like more of a Norman shape. The third last is a conservative chiseled last. So that's also a squared last, just not as aggressive as the Y07. The fourth last is the Y05, which is what we have here. As you can see, this is a soft square last, a really beautiful and well-proportioned last. And last but not least, they have the Y08 last, which is exclusively made for loafers, and that's a round last. Now that you have the style, and the last selected, the third option is to select the kind of leather that you like. There are four regular calves to choose from, eight green options and eight suede options. So we're talking about a total of 20 different leathers to choose from. And the last step of the process is to select the sole that you want. So as I was saying, there are a couple different options to pick. I went with the standard sole, which is what you see here. The second option that they have is a regular sole with a topi. This is when from the tip of the sole to about right here is covered in a topi. Uh, let me show you an example. So this is one of my shoes from Yilsao and you can see that it has a leather sole but the top has a topi. 
You can still include metal toe taps even if you have a toe pee as you can see on these shoes. And last but not least, you can have a rugged rubber sole. So those are the three options for the MTO program. And uh, that's pretty much it for the MTO program. Actually, no, one more thing. So as I was saying, the shoes are $480 for their ready to wear. One thing I failed to mention, they also carry boots. So their boots retail $499 for their ready to wear. But once again, it's still a $50 upcharge. So it'll be $549 if you wanted to get your boots done in an MTO style. The second option that they have, although right now, is temporarily on hold is their premium MTO program. So their premium MTO program includes everything that I just mentioned from the MTO program plus the following options. Number one, as I was saying, there are three options for the regular MTO, but for the premium MTO, you get four options with the standard being a beveled waist. The second thing that comes standard is the elastic shoe tree. So with their ready to wear and with their regular MTO, you have to pay $100 for the elastic shoe trees, but that's included in their premium MTO. The third thing, which is very important, is a last adjustment. So let's say you have a higher instep, they can actually adjust the last for you to ensure proper fit. So with the regular MTO program, the last is what it is. You can't change that. The fourth thing is the stitches per inch. So with the regular MTO, it's eight stitches per inch, but on their premium MTO, it's 12 stitches per inch, which just really means it's a bit more handwork that goes into the premium MTO. Make no mistake about it, eight stitches per inch is still great because most shoe brands is really going to give you between four and six when you're talking about shoes under $500. So the lead time for the premium MTO is four months and that's because they only produce two of those shoes every month because of the amount of handwork that goes into those shoes but until you select the model and style that you want that's when they'll be able to quote you the final price but you can expect to pay a minimum of a thousand dollars for their premium MTO once that program starts over again now let's take a look at their shoe trees up close this is made out of beech wood there's no paint on there so this is natural wood so it's going to be really good at absorbing moisture and it does have a hole here that makes those shoe trees lighter Take a look and you can see how the shoe trees mimic the same exact shape as the shoes as they are built on the same exact last as the shoes. So whenever you can, I always advise that you get yourself the lasted shoe trees that come with the shoes as opposed to just getting just any shoe tree. Cause this is going to guarantee you an optimal fit for the shoes. And you can see the inside of the shoe. Now let's talk about their ready to wear. They have a bunch of style to choose from, from Oxfords to Derbies to monk straps to loafers and boots. So you may not need to go MTO. I opted to go with the MTO program because I really wanted this style and they didn't have it in their ready to wear collection. The shoe sizes range anywhere from five UK to 12 UK and the lead time for their ready to wear is about 25 days. And if you're wondering how the shoes fit, they fit me great. The only thing that I would probably change is I would probably go with a regular cause this is a wide. That's another thing I forgot to mention. There are a couple of different widths. They have the E, which is regular, and they have the F, which is wide. So this is an F, which is slightly wider. As you can see, it's not really that wide, but it is wider than the E. And the reason why we went with a wide width is because of my flat feet. And Tim was worried that the E may not fit me properly. So just to end on the side of caution, we went with a wide. But next time when I order from them, I think the E will fit me just fine. And I highly recommend Yearn Shoemaker because you're not going to find handmade shoes at this price point very often. I really like their regular MTO program because it gives you so many options at only a $50 upcharge. And also only 35 days turnaround time. Typically, you're looking at three or four months for regular MTO for most brands. So this is a really, really good option. If you wanted to place an MTO order, you do have to email them. I'll include the email down here, but it's info at yearnshoemaker.com. Once again, info at yearnshoemaker.com. And I'm looking forward to see what you think about them in the comments. I think they're really beautiful and this will not be my last pair that I can guarantee you. I really have a thing for green shoes now. Well, I've always had a thing for green shoes, but it was really for split to derbies. But now I really have a thing for green Oxford. That's my next infatuation. So I think that the next shoe that I get from them will probably be a pair of green Oxfords. If I could change one thing, it would probably be to lower the price of the shoe trees to let's say $75. At $100, I'm not saying that it's not a good price, especially since at $480 for their ready to wear is such a great price 
for a handmade shoe. Well, I can see a lot of guys opting not to get them because they cost $100 versus if they were $75, I think a lot more guys would probably get them. You know what I mean? But once again, I highly recommend that you do get them. But as far as the shoes themselves, I really like what I see. When it comes to shoes, I know what I like, but I try not to get too technical. There are some other YouTube channels that you can watch that go more into the weeds when it comes to certain details. I just like beautiful shoes, man. You know what I mean? And I know what I like. I know what I don't like. And these, I really, really like. I think this is a really good option for a guy that's ready to go one step above Goodyear Welted and step more into a handmade product. Product. Really, really nice shoes. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Goodyear Wealthy shoes. I still wear a ton of them, so definitely not what I'm talking about. But this is definitely a different level of shoe making when you're talking about a shoe that's hand welted and hand lasted versus a Goodyear Wealthy shoe. It's just facts. So this was the unboxing of my Balmoral Punch Capital Oxford, you know, dark brown suede from Yearn Shoemaker. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. So today I'm wearing my navy Natalino button down collar polo shirt with our trousers. And I'm wearing them with my Burgundy Splito Derbies from Act 10th. The watch is my 1969 King Seiko. And the strap is a Burgundy Pebble Grain because obviously I'm wearing Burgundy shoes. Now one thing about me when it comes to my watches is my watch straps are always going to match what I have on my feet. I don't play around with that, you know what I mean? Speaking of, the watch strap that I would wear with my Yearn Shoemaker shoes would be these. This watch strap is made out of Nubuck. Nubuck is very similar to suede. And as you can see, it's a perfect match with those shoes. So hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, or everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video.